Hello there, I am Najma from ASL Advice, a channel that shares tips and advice just for you to learn English easily and effectively. Today we are going to have a lesson on idioms. What kind of idioms? I am going to talk about color idioms. Yes, I want you to make your English enriched and colorful with a good collection of idioms. And of course, I will try to make this lesson easy for you to remember these idioms correctly. So before we begin, hit the subscribe button and press like and share button. Well, color idioms are fun to learn. So let's learn how to use these color idioms in expressions to brighten up our English and make it more interesting. So the first idiom we have is, um, excuse me, it's my sister. I think it's an urgent call. Hello? Hmm? What? Uh, how could he say something like that out of the blue? It's unfair. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, I'll call you later. I'm in the middle of something. Hmm. I think my landowner has gone mad. Out of the blue, he tells us to leave the house within a week. How come? The time is too short. Not fair. So, have you noticed? Already I have started using color idiom. Out of the blue. Can you guess what is the meaning from the act? Well, if something happens out of the blue, it's entirely unexpected. Like my landowner did, out of the blue, he told us to leave the apartment. Even not given enough time, that is unexpected. The other example is, last night my childhood friend called me out of the blue to see red. Red is a beautiful color, but red symbolizes hate blood, violence, a sign of warning, as in traffic lights. Red is also associated with anger. Look at the pictures. To see red is to become angry because angry people generally display a reddening on the face. Some examples are, I see red when people lie. In the middle of the argument, he saw red and he punched his nose. The next idiom is green with envy. Envy is a negative word. So the meaning of green with envy is easy to remember. It means to be jealous, envious. For example, my colleagues wear green with envy when I got a promotion. Her diamond ring made me green with envy. In number four, we have is black sheep. Black sheep is an idiom used to describe a member of a group who is different from the rest, especially in the family who doesn't fit in. Black sheep is regarded as an embarrassment to the rest of the group. There is a black sheep in every flock. It is a famous proverb of 18th century. It is believed that the fleeces of black sheep were not as valuable as those of the white sheep. The wool of the white sheep could be dyed in different colors, whereas black fleece was a lot more limited. So people preferred to have only white sheep in their flocks. And this phrase derived from that fact. For instance, Anna will never learn how to behave well. She is the black sheep of her family. He is the black sheep of his family after he got involved in the bank robbery. Tickled pink. Well, I'll tell you a sentence, you try to guess the meaning. My grandma was tickled pink when we came to visit her after a long period of time. I believe many of you got it right. Yes, it means to be extremely happy. It is natural. When grandma sees her grandchildren, she becomes tickled pink, very happy. The other example is, Anna was tickled pink when her husband sent her flowers. Number six, green thumb. It is also called green finger. Green thumb or green finger, they have the same meaning. Green thumb is the American version of the idiom, while green finger is the British version. Green symbolizes plants. This idiom is talking about the natural ability to make the plants grow. Green thumb means good at gardening, skillful. For example, my sister has a green thumb. Her garden is just like a garden of paradise. Amreen has a green thumb and she knows growing plants, especially flowers. Black and blue. Now let me tell you a situation so that you could understand the meaning of black and blue. Suppose Arman is your friend. It's been a week you couldn't meet him. One of your friends came to you and told you, 
I saw Armand last night. He was black and blue. Black and blue? You may think, how can a person be black and blue? Now look at the picture and try to relate it with the word black and blue. I believe now you understood the meaning of black and blue. It means to be covered in bruises. So your friend was black and blue means he was covered in bruises. Maybe he met an accident or he was involved in fighting. The other example is I still remember those days when I was black and blue due to a car accident. A golden opportunity. Well, gold or golden, it is associated with wealth, prosperity, strength. And opportunity means chance. And when we use them together like a golden opportunity, this idiom serves the meaning of an excellent chance to get or do something. Like I missed the interview, it was a golden opportunity for me to get a high paid job. Sarah believes her Jerry score will bring a golden opportunity to get a scholarship at a well-known university. The next we have is a white lie. White is a symbol of purity. So this white lie is not that bad. It is a lie but not harmful. White lie is a small lie that is told to be polite or avoid hurting someone's feelings. For example, your friend had a new haircut that didn't suit her at all. But you told her, oh, that haircut looks good on you. You told a white lie to her because you didn't want to hurt her feelings. Another example is Tom didn't want to attend his neighbor's wedding program. So he told a white lie to his mom. The last one is talk a blue streak. It means to speak rapidly in a constant, unending stream of words. In your family or friend groups, there is someone who talks so much that you don't get a chance to talk. You just listen. For instance, he is a lovely guy, but he talks a blue streak and that's not very pleasant. So these are some color idioms. Do practice them. If you use them, you will sound smart in speaking English. I know there are more colorful idioms you hear or you use them. Let us know those idioms in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll be back with another video. Till then, take care.